I'm almost pretty certain it's too late for me, but if there's anything I can do to ease the suffering of another person with MHA, I'd gladly give whatever part of my body you want. You could take my arm, you could take you could take a piece of my leg. It, it doesn't really matter to me anymore. One in every hundred people is born with a serious genetic condition. Often, the disease creates disability, pain, and a shortened life. More than 4,000 inherited disorders are known today. Almost all lack proper treatment. But today, a new dawn of hope is here. It takes a lot of energy to develop interest and advocate for these smaller diseases. We call them orphan diseases. It's not like cancer or breast cancer, where literally everyone knows somebody who has that particular illness. What does MHE mean to you? He has to have surgery over and over again. And you definitely have your moments where you'll go in your room and you'll cry. We know that blocking heparin sulfate has very profound effects, both developmentally as well as physiologically. Getting medicines where they're needed, all the diseases and HIV AIDS, I, I just feel... As long as we keep these connections going between the families, physicians, as long as that whole thing is in motion, These osteochondromas get so big, guess where I found his nerve? His nerve was inside the bone. So it was like an archaeologic dig, you know, going in there and chipping away the bone and hoping I didn't chip away the nerve. When you're like around other people who don't have MHA, who are normal, they, they can go out and play and you're just basically sitting on the bench doing your homework. It's tough. The surgeries aren't any easy. There's no real formula to get through them. You just sit there, you whine and cry and just think, well, it's probably not the last one. I have to go through it again, and it's constantly something that weighs on your mind. Fifteen years ago, people didn't even know it existed. And now, in, in that time frame, we've discovered probably 30, 35 diseases. And because people are just now discovering them, it means that physicians aren't very aware of them because, you know, they're so new. And so what we have the opportunity to do is to identify the kinds of defects that are present in some of these patients. And then by identifying the defects, then we hope, you know, to research a positive cure. And, you know, you don't want to go to the place where you say, why my child? At the end of the day, we're no different than anyone else who will get a disease or whatever else is out there. When I'm speaking about my son's issue, I try and keep myself together because I know... Was that the central reason less ethically complicated to human and central?